vous me plaisez bien Est-ce qu'on peut discuter Regarde là celle-là, elle est mignonne. Elle a bien court, ça fait pute, salope. On n'a pas le choix, c'est comme ça. Le harcèlement de rue n'est encore aujourd'hui pas reconnu comme tel dans la loi. Mais il s'agit, semble-t-il, d'une situation connue par une majorité de femmes. En 2016, en France, les femmes étaient 39% à éviter certains lieux publics de peur d'être harcelées. Et puis en travaillant sur le sexisme, euh, l'inégalité de salaire, etc., on est tombé aussi sur le harcèlement sexuel. On s'est rendu compte que c'était un vrai phénomène de société. Moi-même, j'ai été étonné parce qu'en interrogeant des, 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 des jeunes femmes entre 20 et 35 ans autour de moi, je me suis rendu compte qu'elles, parfois, elles aménageaient leur vie en fonction de ce risque de harcèlement sexuel, notamment quand elles prenaient les transports comme le matin, elles évitaient de mettre une jupe. Euh, parfois, elles ont enfilé un gros anorak euh, par-dessus un pantalon un peu trop moulé, ou par-dessus euh, une tenue de sport, pour éviter justement ces harcèlements quotidiens, presque quotidiens dans le métro, notamment, mais aussi dans le bus, sur la, sur la, sur la chaussée, euh, dans pas mal de villes de France, et notamment Montpellier, où nous sommes allés, où, où les filles sont vraiment victimes, pratiquement au quotidien, de, 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 de ces harcèlements, ce qui fait qu'une jeune femme de, entre, à partir de 15-16 ans, elle se fait raccompagner, elle rentre pas trop tard chez elle, elle, elle prend le bus et puis elle se change tout près de l'endroit où elle va aller faire la fête, la boîte de nuit, etc. Et c'est incroyable. Et, moi, et alors, ce qui est incroyable, c'est qu'elle ne proteste pas, en fait. Hijab has been prescribed to the woman so that she maintains the status and doesn't go back to the old days. Normally, people talk about hijab for the woman, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the glorious Quran first speaks about the hijab for the man and then speaks about the hijab for the woman. Quran says in Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 30, say to the believing man that he should lower his gaze and guard his modesty. Whenever a man looks at a woman, if any brazen thought, any unashamed thought comes, he should lower his gaze. This is what the Quran says. Once, there was a Muslim man who was staring at a girl for a long time. I told him, brother, what are you doing? This is haram in Islam. He told me, a beloved prophet said, the first glance is forgiven, the second is prohibited, I have not completed half my glance. <laughs> what did the prophet mean when he said, the first glance is forgiven, second is prohibited? What the prophet meant was, that if you unintentionally look at a woman, don't look at her again, that does not mean you can look at a woman for 10 minutes without blinking and saying, I have not completed my glance. The next verse of Surah Nur, chapter 24, verse number 31, speaks about the hijab for the woman. That whenever a woman looks at a man, and if any breath and thought comes, she should lower her gaze. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Ahzab, chapter number 33, verse number 59, O oh Prophet, tell your wives and your daughters and the believing women that when they go abroad, they should put on the cloak, they should put on the jilbab so that they shall be recognized and it will prevent them from being molested. Quran says, hijab has been prescribed for the women so that they shall be recognized and it will prevent them from being molested. I'd like to ask you a question. Let's suppose two twin sisters who are very beautiful, who are equally beautiful, if they are walking down the streets of Dubai, walking down along the Cornish, and if one twin sister she is wearing the Islamic hijab, the complete body covered, except the face and the hands up to the wrist. And the other twin sister, she is wearing the Western clothes, the mini skirts or shorts. And if both of them are walking down the streets in Dubai, along the Cornish, and if on the side there is a ruffian who is waiting for a catch, who is waiting to tease a girl, I am asking the question, which girl will it tease? Will it tease the girl wearing the Islamic hijab? Or will it tease the girl wearing the western clothes, the mini skirts or short? Which girl will it tease? Which girl? But natural, the girl wearing the western clothes, the mini skirts or short. If you're inviting, then you'll receive. The Quran rightly says that hijab has been prescribed to prevent the woman from being molested. And after this, if anyone rapes any woman. The Islamic Sharia says, death penalty. Many non-Muslims say, death penalty? In this age of 21st century, Islam is a barbaric religion. It's a ruthless law. But when I ask this question, and I've asked this question to thousands of non-Muslims, that suppose, God forbid, someone rapes your mother, 
or someone rapes your sister and if you are made the judge and the rapist is brought in front of you, what punishment will you give him? Believe me, all of them said, 100%, we will put him to death. Some went to the extreme of saying, we will torture him to death. So someone rapes your mother, your wife, your sister, you want to put him to death. Someone rapes somebody else's mother, somebody else's sister, you say, death penalty, barbaric law. Why these double standards? Why? And do you know, America, USA, which happens to be the most advanced country in the world, do you know it has one of the highest rates of rape in the world? The country which has one of the highest rate of rape in the world is USA. So in the name of women liberalization, they are selling their daughters. They are selling their mothers. We love our daughters. We love our mothers. We love our wives. If the hijab subjugates the woman and protects her, we love this subjugation. We love this subjugation and we love this protection. If this is your freedom in the name of women liberalization, selling your body, selling yourself, we are very happy with our religion. Islam has prescribed women hijab to protect her and to uplift her. And we see today the same thing is happening in the Western world. Same thing what happened in Greek civilization, Roman civilization, women in the name of liberalization, art, culture, modeling, fashion, TV, all this you see, what are they doing? Going back to the old age.